Hi, Ben here, and today we're looking at El Muelle de Olaso by Luis Pérez, which gives us a great opportunity to explore the fascinating world of Vinos de Pasto, or unfortified wines from the Marco de Jerez. Borregas Luis Pérez was founded in 2002, but the family had been linked to the world of wine in Jerez for generations. The winery's founder, Luis Pérez Rodríguez, was professor of enology at Cadiz University and a former enologist at the famous Domecq Sherry House. His son, Willy Pérez, learned much of his craft at the vineyards of McLaren Vale in southern Australia before coming back home to take over the reins of the family winery. From the outset, the project has put a strong focus on the vineyard. The team have rigorously studied each plot across the different pagos to ensure that they understand the geographical and historical factors that make each one unique, and the approach to winemaking differs for each of the vineyards. In 2013, the winery launched a project centered on sherries, made the natural way, a selection of biologically aged wines, unfortified with no added grape spirit, each one a product of the Pago it came from. And finally, in 2017, the winery began to recover the tradition of Vinos de Pasto, which refers to the classic unfortified table wines of the region, made with Palomino grapes from the San Cayetano and Lescrivano vineyards, which are part of the iconic Pago de Machanudo. So what about the wine? <clears throat> well, El Muelle is made from 100% Palomino Fino, Jerez's star variety. This is a grape that's most closely associated with sherries, but as here, it's also used for still wines. The grapes are harvested manually in August and September. And then things get interesting, because 80% of the grapes are fermented in stainless steel tanks at low temperature. Nothing unusual there but then the remaining 20% are dried out in the sun to concentrate the sugars. This is a practice known as asoleo, or sun drying. The must from these grapes then gets fermented in used sherry buds, and then the two fermented wines are blended together and aged for six months on the lees before bottling. So all in all, this is a quite labor-intensive process in the winery. The result? Well, El Mue is a real gem of a wine. It's got a really enticing, opulent nose with hints of raisins, pineapple, banana, and then it opens up wonderfully on the palate, giving you notes of white flowers and all the sapidity and freshness you'd expect of such an established Jerezano winemaker. This wine goes perfectly with all kinds of seafood, prawns, squid, oysters, and would probably work well with a few cheeses as well but don't let that stop you drinking it on its own because this makes an absolutely delicious aperitif. El Muelle de Oso by Luis Pérez, available now on Simply Spanish Wine.